Hey guys, welcome out to the range. Today I wanted to answer a question, a comment that was made the other day uh, about, um, actually it was, it was a question, about what type of sling do, we, do I need? Uh, the guy was asking, do I need to go with a single point? Do I need to go with a two point? And then he said he had a, um, a CMMG Banshee, I believe it was, and he said it's really short and I should probably go with a single point. And I said, nope, you need to have a two point. Now, I figured I would make the point with this thing. This is about as short and tiny as it gets. This is my GS-17. This is, <clears throat> this is a weapon that you would usually put a PDW sling on, and the PDW sling is actually this one. And you could run it right through here, and both ends would meet up here. But what I have found, because I end up going up into the hills with this thing, once I put the safety on, which is the forward grip, and it folds in, I find that the weapon stays right here. I mean, it does not move from this position. For hours on end, it stays right here. If I want to move it off to the side, I can, you know, to use my handgun. Um, but this thing stays precisely where I put it. Why? Because it's on a two-point sling. The back and front of the weapon are being managed for me by the sling. And like I said, this is a PDW sling. And the PDW sling, for, the guys, for, for those that don't understand, is the PDW sling I specifically designed with a shorter length of bungee in it than the two-point sling. And the reason for that is this is usually used on really short, really light weapons. But you can use the PDW sling in a two-point configuration. And all I did was drill the front of the safety on this uh, on this forward grip. For, and yeah, this is, this is an SBR. And I ran paracord through it and it stays out of the way of my hand. And yet it gives me all the control over the weapon that I need. And as soon as I need to transition to my handgun, I just toss it and it stays right where I leave it instead of it going like this, which is what it will do on a single point sling. Guys, I've said this many times. Single point slings are, are dynamite for pick up and move and, and uh, pick up and shoot weapons. But if you're talking about any weapon that you're going to spend a, a protracted period of time wearing, you really want to control that weapon and you don't want to have to think about controlling that weapon. And this will do it. You can store it off to the side. You can store it on your back if you want and the sling manages that weapon for you completely. And at a moment's notice, you can bring it around and get into it. So two point really truly is the way to go when you're talking about a weapon that you're gonna to have to wear for a long period of time. Um, even though I make the single point tier one citizen sling, I no longer use it. I have one weapon that has a sling on it and that's my home defense gun. Everything else I own has two points on it. It just makes more sense. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I thank you for your donations to keep this channel independent. I thank you for your sling purchases to keep food on my table. As always, God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.